hi friends how are ya welcome back to my channel for a special vlog this vlog we are going to be throwing my sister her bachelorette party um it's wednesday and her party is thursday friday saturday so a lot of this is going to be just like setting it up planning prepping that whole thing today's a full day of errands tomorrow is obviously going to be setting it up and it's funny because when i initially announced that i was going through my divorce the most common question i got is like how does it feel planning your sister's wedding and all that kind of stuff and this is probably my biggest responsibility is the bachelorette party and honestly it's great I just want to say like it's not about me um my personal life does not affect how i see this i'm so excited for her i really want to make sure she has a good time the only thing i am kind of worried about is her and all of her bridesmaids are 21 they're young they're fun they're sorority girls they're awesome and i for example my bachelorette party was i got a massage and I just want to make sure they have a great time and I feel ill-equipped to know all the fun, cool things to do. My cousin Alice is going to be helping us set up and then Jacqueline's roommate slash best friend, super fun. She's kind of responsible for our night out, taking us to all like the fun Austin bars because I have literally been to zero Austin bars. So pulling them in to help ensure maximum fun and I'm kind of the house mom that's like coordinating everything, running all the errands, feeding everybody, that kind of thing. So I think we're gonna make a great dream team. So here's what's on tap for today. I'm about to get changed, get ready and head out to the Domain, which is like our big, beautiful outdoor mall here in Austin to hit up a couple spots. First, fun fact, tomorrow's actually also Jacqueline's birthday. <laughs> so I wanna get her a birthday present. I'm going to stop by Missouri's store. Missouri is the jewelry that I basically live in. These are new Missouri. This, y'all remember when we had to go hunt this back down in a vlog because it's brand new and I love it so much and I left it <laughs> in a robe pocket. I am working with Missouri on today's video, um, meaning that I actually have a custom landing page that will take you to every single piece of jewelry that I own will be linked at that landing page. And if it's your first time purchasing from them, just clicking on that link will also get you 10% off of your whole order, which is awesome. I love their pieces because I live in them, sleep, shower, workout, swim, everything in them, and they really hold up. Um, so I wanna get Jacqueline something special for her birthday that she can you know, wear to her upcoming showers or rehearsal dinner or whatever that she can have to remember this time. Austin has the most beautiful Missouri store. We stopped in there and checked it out once before, but I'm gonna go in and like actually look at everything in real life and pick out something for her. Something that I love about them is they are majority female run. Like the majority of their staff are all females, which is really cool. And I love that they have gold verme pieces, which is like thicker than gold plating and typically over sterling silver. So they hold up really well, but you're not paying the like full solid gold price point. Thank you to Missouri for partnering with me on this video. Perfect timing. So excited to pick something out for Jacqueline. And then, oh, we have to pick up her cake. I got her a custom cake made, birthday slash bachelorette cake. While we're at the mall, I'm going to also run into Sephora, try to find some gift wrap. Those are the big things. Okay, I'm gonna get changed. I'm so chatty this morning. And we're gonna head out. Okay, I've made it to the Missouri location. This is Ainsley. Hi guys. She's going to help me pick out maybe something for, I just gave her the little rundown that it's my sister's birthday, it's her bachelorette. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I feel like she's an earrings girl and okay. I would love to find something that she could just wear to like her bridal showers or even her honeymoon, something she can just leave on that could yeah. be dainty but nice. So we're thinking about doing something solid gold since it's a big occasion. These studs I really like and are a high contender. Also these like super simple, what are these hoops called again? Uh, those are small hoops. Just the small hoops. But I really like the bold hoop, which is over here. And I feel like Jacqueline, you can add these ch little charms to them or you can have them without. And I feel like Jacqueline would just love like a simple bold hoop without a charm that she could add things to if she wanted to, but just leave on with everything. And she's a trendy gal, I feel like older. Hoops are a little trendier right now. But the other idea we were toying around with are these like little letter charms. I actually just got the M in this one. I'll show y'all when I'm home, but it would be really cute to get her the G for her new last name of Gutierrez. So those are the thought processes, but I feel like this is just something that she could actually wear every single day to every single event. So I think I'm gonna go with the solid gold bold smallest hoop. 
I actually do really like the way that this looks with the charm added, and I have some kind of similar to this at home, and I kind of am tempted to now look at charms for myself. But this is what this looks like without, and I feel like it is something that Jacqueline will wear all the time, and since it's so good quality, she can just leave it on. birthday gift check I'm so excited to give her these I also think that since you can add on the charms like for future uh, occasions I can just give her charms and then it's like she has more earrings so that is awesome now off to find black outfit potentially for the night out that we need gift wrap and all of the other things let's go so I already got her like a bodysuit lingerie but I just wanted to get her something really nice to go with it and I found this is a free people little kind of pajama kind of lingerie set. I think I'm gonna get her this just to go all out, you know? And then I also saw a black skirt over here that I'm kind of in the top shop section. I feel like could work for the night out for me over here. Should I try this on? Silky little mini skirt. This would have been perfect had they had it in my size, but they don't have it in my size, sadly. So I have another one that we can try on. This fits me better, but the slit is too risky. It's too risky for me. So either I'll wear jeans or I'll go see if we can find anything else anywhere else. Okay, we officially got all of the gifts underway. Look, the lingerie was wrapped so cute. And I did a little Sephora stop to get the things that I've run out of. Met a super sweet subscriber that's visiting from Florida. It's been a great morning and now the thing that I am really excited to see because I kind of gave them like creative freedom is the cake. Let's go to the bakery and pick up the cake. Guys, this is so stinking cute. I got a little clip of it in the bakery so you can see the sides of it, but look at the top. It just says happy birthday bachelorette JJ. This is one of the ones I sent. Look at how spot on that is. Wow, I'm so excited. And it's carrot cake, which is Jacqueline's favorite, which is very surprising for her because she is like a basic eater, like pizza, mac and cheese, grilled chicken eater. So if I were to assume her favorite flavor, I would guess like funfetti, you know? So the fact that it's carrot cake, I'm like, okay, cultured. Look at you liking good things. All right, I am going to take out Max. I got a notification that I have a few packages. You haven't told the vlog hi yet. You wanna tell the vlog hello? You wanna tell them hello? You wanna tell them hello before we go? Huh? Huh? You're so hyper Oh, it did you. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> Real quick meal time. One bachelorette related, one something I am curious to see what it's like in real life. Um, first, this just got here from Amazon. This is something that y'all recommended for the top that I'm wearing for the night out because I said when I tried it in the newly video that my stick on bra was showing underneath the bottom. So y'all said to try body tape and it came with free little <laughs> nippies, they call them. But this will be interesting to try. I've never tried this before, but it's like, I guess it's technically different from fashion tape because fashion tape is like skinny that you hold things in place. But this is like you, you tape yourself so that you don't need a bra. So this will be interesting to experiment with. It's cotton. That's cool. Can you reuse it or is it like a one and done? Oh, wow. Shows you all the different ways too pretty cool than this. So as you know, I had to get a new laptop and they didn't have the size of laptop I wanted. So I had to get the biggest one. I was like, it's a, it's fine. It'll probably be better to edit on whatever. But then it didn't fit my backpack. <laughs> now I had to get a new backpack. And I did a lot of research um, as to one that I wanted for travel that would have a spot to put a water bottle on the side, big enough to fit the biggest laptop. And I came across this brand I've literally never heard of. And the backpack, it's a, it was a little pricey. So I'm nervous, cause I don't know anything about this brand. D-A-G-N-E, Dagny Dover. Okay, okay. After I ordered it, I was like, I should have gotten the olive that's probably safer than like this pinky color. But I think I like it. One thing that I like about it, 
is with all of my upcoming travel, you can slip the back over your suitcase arm and wheel it around. Apparently you can wash it in the machine, so I figured it'd be good long-term backpack, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm glad to see it in person. Real quick test. I have to do it. Okay, wait, there's two pockets. There's this little spot for a potential laptop, or there's this whole backside. Let's try the backside. Ooh. Oh yeah, that fits so well. Oh my goodness, I broke my zipper on my last backpack trying to fit it. <laughs> this is much better. That's exciting. Okay, cool. Good morning. It is bachelorette day. It is also Jacqueline's birthday. We are meeting everyone at the house at six, but Alice and I are getting to the house first at four to get everything set up. This morning, I'm gonna do a huge target run. I have things I gotta get for myself and then also just like all the remaining snacks, supplies. I asked Jacqueline what her snack requests are. Are you ready for this? Hot Cheetos, Oreos, and fruit. At least she's well-rounded. <laughs> but I'm gonna go get, you know, all types of the little junk food snacks for the girls. And um, maybe also, if we have time, I might go buy some balloons because I think we're gonna have Polaroid cameras and maybe disposable cameras. And I feel like those would just be so cute for like film pics or disposable camera pics. That's not essential. That's only if we have extra remaining time. I'm so excited. Also, this tank that I cropped a few vlogs ago ever since i cropped it i've been wearing it like three times a week i think i need to get more tanks okay let's go to target first things first a couple yeah. little gift bags for the other little gifts i got her i want to see if they have um like little plastic champagne flutes too that's probably in the gift section party section <gasps> there's pinatas uh oh wait that's kind of tempting <laughs> this is perfect uh, they have these for four dollars or they have a 20 count like this for five dollars but i kind of like these sparkly ones and then i might get some sparkly plastic cups also and then they also had this little plastic cake stand which i think will be nice to display her cake on so you can see the sides and everything really nicely wow target is coming in clutch here's how my cart's looking very full of snacks and party supplies but I got some pastries and stuff for the mornings because we have a brunch tomorrow morning, but the next morning we don't have anything. And then the girls are bringing wine and I'm gonna bring non-alcoholic beverages since I'm the non-drinker. I'll make sure everyone has those options. <laughs> so I don't think I have quite enough time to do helium balloons, but I also got those number balloons and the bride balloon at Target. And then in a recent vlog, we got this little balloon installation that ooh, I'll probably regret not getting a balloon pump for, I'm just now realizing, but we could probably get it. But just wrapping a couple other last minute little gifts. I showed you all this when it came in the mail a while ago. This was from Etsy. It just says bride, it's this crew neck. And I think it's very Jacqueline. And then one other little lingerie piece for, I don't remember if I told you all this idea. This is such a cute bachelorette party idea, not my idea. Um, one of the bridesmaids, came up with this. She said that she did it at a recent bachelorette party. Basically, what you do is everybody brings lingerie for the bride, and I'm really looking forward to this because Jacqueline gets so like shy. We have her try it all on, and one of the girls is bringing a Polaroid camera and a scrapbook, because Jacqueline's not doing any sort of like boudoir shoot or anything, and so you take Polaroid pictures of every single piece that we give her, and then make a little scrapbook for her soon-to-be husband. And that's so cute! I think it's such a good idea. That's what we're doing tonight, actually, since it's her birthday. She can open gifts, that whole thing. And I have to find tissue paper. Okay, there we go. All the pink along with the Missouri gift and then also the Free People set that we got wrapped yesterday at Nordstrom. I want to make it seem like she has lots of gifts and things to open so that it's like, whoa, when she walks in, you know? Cool. So now I just need to remember packing all the random little things. Like I'm bringing my uh, film camera, so more film and tape to hang things like balloons and streamers and stuff. And then we're off. Yay. It's happening. <laughs> Made it to the Airbnb, it's so cute, I'm so excited. There's even an Airstream trailer in the back and I don't know if separate people rent it out or not, but um, I'm gonna give you a little house tour. My cousin Alice is about 10 minutes away. She's helping me set up. So let's give you a little house tour before we officially start bringing all the stuff in and putting stuff everywhere. Okay, you walk in the front door 
This is the den space. They picked great furniture. Like, look at this old vintagey little piece right here. I want that for my house. And it goes all the way straight back into the kitchen, but we'll, we'll come back to that. First, let's check out, I haven't actually looked in any of the bedrooms yet. Let's check out this bedroom. Oh, it's so cute. They have a little leather chair. Great decor, honestly. The headboard, 10 out of 10, chef's kiss. Towards the kitchen. First, there's another bedroom here and a bathroom. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. That is so cute. I want that for my <laughs> apartment, but it's great that there's two bathrooms because there's quite a few girls that will be getting ready all at the same time. And then this must be the primary. There we go. Oh, look at how stinking cute. This room is how many times can i say that yet again another really cool vintage piece this is making me want more vintage furniture in my house i think i kind of want to replace some of my you know more like new pieces with something cool and old but nice big closet and one other bathroom love that this just they picked great finishes even this is cool okay i'm sorry i'm getting so distracted and then we have the kitchen which is pretty standard but nice and large oh shoot i thought that this was a regular oh it is also a regular coffee pot it's a keurig and a coffee pot interesting okay because we brought regular coffee i looked through the pictures to try to figure out if it was a regular coffee pot but that's great okay like even look at the ceilings in here is really cool and let's look outside i haven't seen outside yet so first impression together Ooh. There's the Airstream trailer. Um, and then look at this setup. This is so nice. There's couches, there's a little hammock situation. And I get the impression that this house goes further back. So maybe there's another residence back here. There is a separate entrance back here. So I don't know if that's rented out separately, if this is a shared yard, but I, I assume this is rented out sometimes too. But great, great setup. I doubt that we'll have any any neighbors really hanging out in this area. It's probably mostly ours. We're gonna start bringing in all of our groceries, all of our decor, all the presents and everything, and start getting this place in tip-top shape for JJ. tour of our handiwork we're gonna have the gift table we have since it's also her birthday the 22 balloons we could not decide if we wanted to center it over the couch or the window but we went with the window good call Alice Thank you. and then we built this little cloud of balloons over the cake which I think is cute and we have both her sash and her happy birthday crown and then bride are you bride no <laughs> not yet you're next <laughs> And then I thought that the Let's Go Girls works weirdly well over the horse since it is kind of country themed. And then we're gonna have like a drink table with our Let's Go Girls cups beneath it as well.
Hi, friends. Hey. Hi, friends. <laughs> so it's the next morning, and Mikkel is at her apartment because she had to take care of Maxi Poo, and there was mm -hmm. also not enough beds for her. Yep. But we realized she forgot her vlog camera. Ooh. <laughs> so we're going to get some good content for oh, her. Oh, yeah. Fit check. <laughs> so we got the white top going on. We have the classic baggy Wait, jean look. The Gen Z look. Gen, Gen Z baggy jeans. Alice got the cute Maywell look. Yeah. I'm sure everything's I'm probably the, from Maywell. I'm the millennial of the two of us. <laughs> Even though I'm literally not. <laughs> this is Shannon. Fit check. Super cute sundress vibes. Mm. Okay, Carson. Woo! This is her favorite top ever. I wear it every day. Yeah. <laughs> Then we got Maddie, <laughs> super cute. Spin around. And then Anna, love the champagne look. Stop it. The end. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Explore out the pants. As you probably saw, I accidentally left my vlog camera at the Airbnb last night and Jacqueline told me that they got us some great content. I'm really excited to see what that is, but <laughs> we are now meeting at Hank's for brunch. Cute little brunch space that um, I actually got us a private event room because all the reservations were full. <laughs> so that was my way around that. And our itinerary is brunch and then we have a pool cabana downtown right after brunch, which is going to be a lot of fun. We just checked into the pool cabana and it's very beautiful. I'll show you a little view. But guess what Jacqueline realized? I realized this is where the ultimatum show is filmed. Can yeah. you picture it? <laughs> they got a picture of blood orange margaritas and I got a virgin Moscow mule, which isn't that just ginger beer and lime at that point? Yeah, you're just drinking ginger I'm just drinking ginger beer. <laughs> but I look like I fit in. You are such an adult. Look I really am. I'm so proud of you, Mikhail. It's very good. It's very good. Officially getting dark outside, but post pool day, we all are showering and getting ready for tonight. Tonight is the night out. Um, so I came home to my own shower to shower and also to take out this little bean of a boy. But um, I'm officially wearing my top, which was the rental top that we got in the newly video. And I used the tape that we got from Amazon and it actually works so well. I'm very impressed. I'll give you a full outfit, but my plan tonight is to probably go along with them for an hour or two, but then checkout's early tomorrow. So as house mom, I'm then gonna split off and go start to pick up the house and everything. So that checkout will be easy tomorrow. So, you know, a little bit of responsibility, a little bit of fun, but here's the outfit. I know we couldn't find a skirt that worked, but it's okay. I feel like jeans are okay with this. Not the best, cause these need a belt and it's like a little much with the tie, but it's fine. It's, 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 it's black. That's all that it needs to be. You are so grumpy lately, huh? The grumpiest little boy. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the. I am back at the girl's house. I'm going to do cleanup duty tonight because I imagine tomorrow is going to be a little bit hard for everybody. So pick up the house and um, I stayed with them out on Rainy Street the whole time. Then I dropped them on West 6th um, to save them an Uber. And Alice is taking over as group mom. Alice is sober, so she's going to make sure everyone gets home okay. And I'm taking over as cleanup mom. And oh my gosh, there was a moment, there was a bachelor party that was there. They were all older, I would say like in their mid 30s but they were all wearing banana suits with the bachelor's face printed on it. And one of the girls went up to them and was like, hey, the bride gets really uncomfortable. So I would love for you guys to give her a dance in your banana costume. 
Jesus. I got a clip. They like put her on a chair and then just all just like circled around her and danced. And it was like not at all like uncomfortable, but just so embarrassing at the same time for Jacqueline. It was actually very great. That was the highlight of my night. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. I loved that. But here's the here's the current state of the house. It's a uh, it's eh, it's ooh. let's just say I got some work to do. I'm gonna get started on that now. Good morning, it's Saturday. I just got out of bed and it's literally 11 a.m., which is so unlike me. The girls, I've been checking in on them, are all kind of waking up over there. They have to be checked out by 12. So I'm on call. I was like, if you need help with any of the loadout, text me, I'll be there in 11 minutes. But I think I did all of the chores last night, so they just have to pack up their personal stuff, which is great. And the itinerary for today is we're all actually driving to Bernie. Oh, Max needs back in, be right back. Anyways, all of the aunts and uncles are hosting a couple shower tonight. And so we're all going into Bernie for that. I have a few hours in between. I'm so behind on work. So I'm gonna catch up on work today before getting ready and heading out to Bernie. You're gonna come for something to do so I don't leave you alone. Um, and then I'm starting a whole new vlog tomorrow and I'm gonna be vlogging every single day for the next like eight days because I'm gonna be taking a few days off in a little bit. Um, so I'm just kind of like getting ahead, hustling right now and gonna take some time off in, a, in about a week. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for coming along with me as I set up Jacqueline's Bachelorette. It was something that I was like, I really wanted to make sure it went well, and it went really well, and that makes me really happy. She had a lot of fun last night. <laughs> I was watching back some of the videos, I took. oh gosh. Thank you again to Missouri for partnering with me on this video, for having the cutest pieces, and for helping me pick out something for Jacqueline's birthday, bachelorette, graduation, bat, bash. <laughs> Just a lot of big life things, so it's fun that she has something nice that she can have for life to remember this time. So I'm gonna have my link down below. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase. We'll also take you to a landing page of all the things I currently own. If they're still in stock currently, they'll all be in one spot for you. So it's easy to find. Um, I love you. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Talking to you, talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I